In the beginning of my career, people would ask me, how does your cultural heritage, how does your ethnicity inspire your fashions? I remember just being taken back by it because I'm like, whoa, this is blatant racism. Throughout the years, I come to slowly understand that it's just ignorance. Ever since starting in the fashion business, I remember people always telling me, you know, let your clothes speak for yourself. Um, you know, you should stay silent, you should stay in your lane. But, you know, I could never do that. Stop Asian Hate was born out of individuals like myself in the AAPI community saying no, enough is enough. I um, witnessed this viral video going around on, um, on social media platforms of this uh, Asian elderly man, you know, collecting cans, recycling, trying to make a living. And he was being harassed and bullied and, and you know, um, and really attacked for just living his life. A year later, when um, COVID-19 appeared, it just magnified. It just became an explosion of the same thing. So I think um, myself, uh, friends, colleagues of our community, we realized that we could no longer sit back and watch our aunties, our uncles, our family members, our communities being brutalized and scapegoated in a way that was completely um, unjust and unfair. At that moment, I remember just um, literally being up day and night trying to galvanize and connect with uh, friends and colleagues from across the globe. Racism, it does not discriminate. It attacks us all. No matter um, what community you're from, no matter what you look like, no matter what your skin color look like, you're not immune to hate. So how do we get in front of that? The way we get in front of that is to make sure that we show up when we're not being attacked. We show up for our brothers and sisters, our neighbors and loved ones. We come together and understand that our common enemy is hate. Our common goal is to rebuild a system, a society that we're all celebrated and included in. We can actually win the uh, fight against hate by making sure that we build a wall um, of just unity and solidarity and love for each other. We have to become our own superheroes.